Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Tech Blitz. In this uh, video, we are again going to explore Backlit, but another part of this. So this can be useful for both students as well as teachers. So this is our Backlit page. I'm on my home page right now. So let's see how can we create student portfolios in our using Wikilet. So student portfolios can be um, made by teachers for students. This can work for uh, early year teachers as they would be new to such technology and uh, even students like of higher classes can create their own student portfolios to display. So right now we are on our home page. And over here on the plus sign, we'll click it. So, we have to add a background image, cover image, title, description, and the material. So, first, let me add the background image. I'll choose this. And then cover image. You can even, if you are creating your student portfolio, so you can uh, even put your own image. For now, I'm putting some random image. And then you can set it up as where the size you want. Whether you want it full or half, or you don't want to hide it. And then write a title for your um, collection. Yes, so if you are creating your uh, student portfolio, so for the title, you can keep your own name or your student's name. So um, let me write it XYZ. And then in the description box, you can write the purpose of your portfolio or you can write the class. So, as I like, for example, my class name is TechLux. So, I write that. And this is done. Now, I have to add a material to this. Alright. So, first, I am going to create, uh, make work samples. So, this uh, vacillate would be for work samples. So, if you want to give heading also to your this. So, if you don't want to give any heading to your um, work samples, so you can choose it directly from Google Drive or you can choose add text. Just a second. Yes. So over here you can write writing sample. And then you can write the subject name. Say um English. Then over here you can um uh, enter the link to it. Yes, so after adding the link, you can click on done and then you can change your layout. So I'll choose mood board and then like this for this pet uh, regular, you can keep on writing, adding text to it with the text name and then add the link and then save. So it will come like this. And then over here, as you can see, next to the done button, there are three options, public, unlisted, private. So if you want everybody to see this, then you can click on public, or you want the people with whom you have shared the link to this collection, then you can click on unlisted. So I'm keeping it unlisted, and then click on done. So this, um, regulate is ready right then you move to home now for example yeah so now how are we going to add this to a, a portfolio okay so we are going to go to this where you can see a profile image click over here so this is how public will view your profile so you go to edit profile 
then you can change your header image choose from library you can even change the profile image then your name your account name you can even add your bio and you can add your links to any of your websites and then click on save now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to create a section so let's say i click over here and then i write the sections title certain portfolio and then i add the section so it's ready over here and then over here you can see go to your collections choose this yeah so we have this under this and and um and categorized so to move it under the portfolio student portfolio you go over here edit to file scroll down and when you just click over here not just click you put your cursor over here so it will come move and then here some title like uncategorized so you can click on this arrow and there will be the student portfolio as the section which you have added until and unless you don't add the sections it won't be visible to you so click over here and then it would be moved over here and then you can click on save so this is how you can add your own um, sections to it so first you can like add your introduction section where you can tell things about yourself next section you can tell about your work so like this you can create a whole portfolio for yourself and uh, using Wakelet so hope you like the video if you